Is it profitable to crypto mine with a 5950X with nice hash or not? Let's find out in this video. This system has a 5950X and an RTX 3080. Obviously the RTX 3080 is profitable. You get between 80 and 92 mega hash rate. But what about the 5950X? Is it worth it? These are the system monitor hardware info that shows that it's idling around 70 watts call it and GPU is not under any load because I'm not running nice ash at the moment this is like the baseline it's pretty quiet that's task manager shows 1% 3% GPU usage CPU 6% that should ramp up to 100% I might have to yeah I might have to run a Corsair the Corsair app I don't like running that because that's um, CPU hog and ramp up the uh, CPU fans, but we'll see how much how profitable it is to mine with the 5950X. Normally, I don't, I just stick to the RTX 3080, but we're gonna find out. Let's go to Nice Ash, let's run it. All right, where's Nice Ash? I need to, you need to select, you need to run the program first, obviously. Hard to do with one hand. Okay, it's now running. Obviously, it's gonna run the excavator. That's to mine with the GPU, but we don't want to do that. So we're gonna go to the task bar and right-click on. Come on. There we go. Uh, settings. CPU mining's activated. So it should start mining. So it should start mining with the CPU. It's not, the load's not increased yet. So it started mining with the GPU. I'm not seeing any signs it's mining with the CPU yet. Where is it? Or it could be, might be Windows Defender's done something. There it is. Piece of garbage, it blocked it. Coin miner. All right, let's change it to allow on device start. See, that's why it wasn't mining. So now it should start. Let's go to rig manager. Start mining should open where is it I was right it was windows but now ok let's rest stop it let's exit it and restart it task nice hash there what's it want oh there we go yeah it's mining finally it's mining with the CPU so if you run into a problem where you've installed it and it's worked in the past and it's not working it's Windows Defender it gets aggressive so it's just starting up at the moment let's have a look yeah, the wattage yet 200 watts is 5950x it's slightly overclocked using a position boost overdrive temperatures jumped to 80 nearly 80 degrees clock speed's not very high coolers increasing wattage is around 200 so what mega hash are we getting should really stop the yeah, let's stop the the graphics card and just mine because that's just going to artificially increase the temperature and load yeah look it's stopped now memory clock junction memory has gone down to 66% so I've stopped mining yeah there you can see GPU the so GPU is not under load so now it's purely CPU mining 
Now what mega hash are we getting? Let's find out. Okay, so I better organize the windows. We got the, the miners there. The CPU miner and the GPU miner. Currently, uh, GPU is 88 mega hash on Dagger Hashimoto and the CPU is 10,000 or about 11,000 on random random MX Monoro or whatever it is. And we'll refresh the nice hash page. See if we can determine the profitability. Okay, we've got a processor. Yeah, that, they're accurate. The hash rates. What about profitability? Twelve thousand ninety-six divided by eleven hundred. So it's roughly one tenth. So profitability is one tenth. So CPU the fifty-nine fifty X is one tenth as profitable as the RTX thirty eighty. So if the CPU, if the GPU is making say. Um, five pound fifty. Then that implies that the CPU is making about fifty-five pence, sixty pence per day. That's what it implies. I could use the nice hash calculator. Uh, what's the C uh, yeah? The wattage is two hundred watts. Under two hundred watts. Temperatures under control, seventy-five degrees. You know, everything's under control. Just hear the fan ramped up. Okay, that's what uh, impression I'm getting. It's about 60 pence per day before electricity cost. And it's using about 100 watts extra power. Okay, so I've done the quick maths and I basically get a net profit per day of about 17 pence translates into just five pounds per month uh, although I'm looking at this and the uh, hash rates gone up a little bit mm, that looks like now it's one sixth One fifth. It's about one fifth the profitability of the RTX 3080. So it's looking at between five and ten pounds per month profit. Now, how does that compare against um, Nice Ash's calculator? So at a minimum, five pounds. And at a maximum ten pounds. Well, it's changed. Let's see if it cha keeps changing. Profitability. It keeps changing. Don't understand why this hash rate has stayed constant. So it's between five and ten pounds per month profit. Now I'm going to load up a nice ashes calculator and see what that says. Okay, so that's the 5950X the nice ashes calculator. Sterling, 18 pence per kilowatt hour. Calculate, and he gets 93 pence per day income. What's the profit? Profit is, yeah, that's the profit. How's he worked that out? It's getting. That is. Doesn't seem accurate. 45 pence electricity cost. What did I get? 43 pence electricity cost. 
how's it calculating this night how's it getting this what's it using so their calculation is significantly different than mine I'm getting between about 17 pence to 35 pence profit per day they're coming out with 93 pence Mm. So on one month on nice ashes calculation, you would make a profit after cost of twenty-five pounds. According to my calculation, between five and ten. What are they using for the hash rate? Don't show the hash rate. Do the yeah random 18 kilowatt hours per second no again 11,000 so that's the difference so yeah it is settling in the calculations department that is increasing every time I press refresh it increases Oh, it's gone down a little bit now. Twelve thousand kilo hash. Thirteen actually is eleven thousand. So nice hash calculator is overestimating at eighteen. Eighteen thousand. Basically, it's 11 to get a more accurate. If I do 11 divided by 18, 61% equals 93 times that. 57 pence per day times 30, 17 pounds per month. Well, that's more realistic than a nice hash. That's probably closer to the what you're going to make than overinflated 25 pounds. Yeah, so it's roughly roughly looking at around, call it round it down to 15 pounds per month. Is it worth crypto mining with your? 5950x for just 15 pounds a month? Nah, I don't think so. I'm not gonna do it. It's not worth it. 15 pounds a month for a process that costs 800 pounds. You see what the temps are like. It's not straightforward to work out the cost. I suppose the only way to know truly is to just run it for 24 hours and see how much you're actually making bitcoins. So I noticed that the unpaid balance went down as well. Let's refresh. What's the un it was higher now it's, okay, it's 24 now it's going back up. 24 Satoshis. Unpaid balance. It is about this is not much. It's showing 12 here yeah, and here it's showing 11 consistent. Hmm, there's definitely not the 18 on the calculator. So roughly it is about 15 pounds per month. I'm a 5950X, crypto mining in the background. And this Ryzen uh, processor is overclocked a little bit using Ryzen Master. As you can see, normally that would be 120 watts, but it can go up to 208, 200, maybe it can go up to 230 watts to get its 4.4 gigahertz. Temperature's constant. So I don't think it's worth mining with your 5950X, not for 15 pounds 
obviously it's mining in the background so you'll be using the system you're not going to mine on its own the nice ash is a calculator is overly optimized 25 pounds per month you're not going to get that and 15 pounds is more realistic not worth it yeah mine with your RTX 3080 or 3070 whatever GPU you've got don't mind with your CPU instead uh, rely on your CPU to pick up the slack given that the GPU is being used for mining so I'm gonna definitely stop mining the the CPU there's no point go to nice ash right click settings switch off CPU mining and there it's gone the window's gone and you should see the temperatures drop wattage drop everything's dropped there we go watts temperature's still fairly out so I stopped mining with the CPU it's not worth it £15 a month, not worth it. So I would not recommend your shortening the life of your 5950X by mining and reducing the experience of using your computer. It's not worth the money. No. In 10 months you'll make £150. The system probably costs £3,000. Whereas in 10 months with your RTX 3080, you'll probably make one and a half thousand pounds. Well, at least 1200. So it is worth mining with your GPU, something like an RTX 3080, but it's not worth mining with a 5950X.